was actually out. This whole valley is basically one of the better parts of the country to find fossils, especially from about two, three million years ago to almost the present. So if we find one, we, it's ours or it's yours? Uh, it's the state's. It's, it's, it's on state land. Uh, but if you find one, you know, let us know. Do we have these? Oh, yeah, please. Those are the maps. Oh. This one I have in my trunk. Yeah. Over here is kind of the older era. I don't know if you guys have been to Shell Reef driving around. I don't think so. Oh. If you go there today, Shell Reef City is basically uh, it's a great jumping place, a popular riding spot. But the whole top layer of the hill, you guys can take a look. It's all oyster shells. There's scallops and clams as well. About four million years ago, it was probably about 200 feet under the sea, and it was a nice oyster bed location. Long enough to get about four, or three, three or four feet of coquina, of fossilized shells, and in these kind of layers is where they'll find stuff like walrus bones from warm water walruses that lived here, and also the megalodon, the biggest shark ever. That's a tooth. That's a tooth. <laughs> One of about 250 in five rows that were in the mouth of that animal, which made Down about in this 60, area. Yeah, 60 feet long. Back of the bus. Yeah. Want to run that in? Sure oh, sure. Actually, I probably should have written something like the size of an RV with a toy hauler. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Something you can relate to. Something you can relate to. With a big there. appetite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hungry and all. Amazing animals. This is like really the only fossil of that animal they find because sharks are.